Well, I'm here with Captain John Marino, American Sport Fishing Charters. John, we got a pretty good blackfish trip planned for today. We're just waiting on Captain Henry. He's actually coming in the door now. What's up, Henry? Hey, good morning, guys. Sorry, a lot of traffic up to the North Shore. Yeah. Hey, Henry, how you doing? Looks like we got a beautiful day. Now, Henry is a native South Shore guy, Sheepshead Bay, born and raised for the most part. Henry, fishing in Brooklyn your yeah, whole life? Yeah, 30 years on the South Shore. Wow. Charter years. boats, party boats. Got a, got a good crew of characters today. This should be interesting. Yeah. This is going to be a face off out there, I think. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, but you know, we're combining both worlds here. And you know, John, you and I, we do a lot of shows together, a lot of boat shows, sportsman shows. And you know, one of the most common que uh, asked questions I would say is probably, you know, the rigs, the tackle, the bait. Right. You know, people see us catching fish, but why? You know, what are we doing different? So we're going to break it down today. We got, like I said, one of the experts from the South Shore. We got John Wood is also super, super black fisherman. I really want to get into the rigs. The line, Henry, you mentioned there's a lot of changes lately. So many changes, Rich, in the tackle, the line, the leader material, hooks, hooks everything, yeah. even the bait. I mean, there's, uh, guys are finding new ways to catch fish as they as they tend to get a little more finicky with a lot of fishing pressure. I got you. I got you. Well, this is going to be good. You know, like I said, let's get right into it. I mean, we start out with the hooks. They're right in front of us. I mean, you know, a standard hook that we all grew up with is a, is a size 4 Virginia Mustad hook. It's a hardened steel hook. It keeps a point really well. It's a strong hook. And now Mustad came out with an Ultra Point. Also, John, I know That's you prefer it. that. Yeah, I prefer this one here. This is a uh, uh, Ultra Point octopus style hook. Okay. Uh, 3L, 4L range, size range. Uh, it's a very sharp hook yes. out of the package. Right. The good thing with the new hooks, too, you're passing them through a very, uh, a very hard shell bait like a crab yep. all day long. And they, the, the newer hooks tend to hold the point much longer as right. the day goes on. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed also. You know, also the only thing with the ultra point hooks and anything like that, you always got to keep an eye on it. Obviously, you're fishing a very rugged bottom. You want to keep an eye on them tips. What I'll usually do is just I'll take a hook after I snag the bottom once or twice with it, and I'll actually take it to my fingernail. And you can see the line it makes right on your fingernail. Right. I just put an X right on my hand. Right. X marks the spot. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and you can tell that's a good point. And it, it's important to do that because you'll lose points on any hook. It doesn't matter. That's true. You know, Henry, you mentioned, you know, all the different changes now with line and everything else. I mean, Everybody, we all started out as diehard monofilament guys. I, I love the braid for black fishing now. I really yeah, do for all bottom fishing. I tell you, once you use the braid, especially in anything over 60 foot of water, it's hard to go back to monofilament. Yeah, and plus right. the strength, John, you know? Yeah. Like this, we're using Stealth, okay? This is Berkeley Stealth, spider wire Stealth. This is 65 pound test. Right. Actually, if I look at it, it's got the diameter of 15 pound test. Right. Okay. Which is definitely cutting down on a oh, five. On the lead, too. Yeah. Yep. You know, today we're going to be fishing probably six to eight ounces of lead. Uh, we're in like the mid sound. We're all going to be fishing probably off of Norwalk, Stanford, that uh, area. We're coming off the moon. Come the moon was moon. just the other day, so it's going to be a harder running tide. We're probably going to have to maybe use eights, you know, eights, maybe ten. I doubt we'll get it. We should be able to get away from tens, but sixes and eights is probably what we're going to be using yeah. today.